there's a fairly new feature in Power BI to be able to export your tables, individual tables or even individual columns as an Excel file, as a PDF, as a CSV. This is, can be really quite useful, but it comes with a warning. Let's go. Here's my very simple data set. It's only got, you know, five or six rows. And the thing to focus on here is that, you know, the total kilometers that people have run, you know, just Bob and Laura on different days and different times, total distance is 30 kilometers, five sessions. Just remember that. So what's the new feature? So if I go into my data set here, what you can do these days is either click on the three dots for the data set and create a formatted table, or click on the data set itself, or maybe if in the data hub, you have this option down the right hand side now. And you can say, right, well, I just want to export all my data as a table, which is great, okay? And you can go export and you can export it as a CSV. You know, ideally you want to be connecting to these, you know, single sources of truth, but in the real world, sometimes we just need a data dump. Okay, so what's my warning? Um, well, it's this, check this out. If I don't export everything, okay, I'll just do um, name and date and kilometers. You can see here, five plus 10, 15, plus five, plus five, 25. Wasn't it 30 kilometers? Yeah, it was. Um, so what's going on? Well, what's happening is that, let me actually bring in the row number, which is a unique identifier. So what we'll see, see is that Bob on the 22nd of June actually went for two runs for five kilometers. So they're being grouped together. Okay, and if I get a measure in here, number of sessions, and put a measure in there, two sessions, both for five kilometers. But if I don't export that, I'll have the wrong data. If I add a measure, see I'm using an implicit measure there, which you shouldn't use, but you know, this is the reality of things. You should always write a measure for everything. If I put the measure in, okay, that evaluates correctly. 10 kilometers and that total adds up. But I can see a lot of people getting caught by this who don't use measures and are doing very simplistic things. And if you're exporting a 10,000 row table, you're not gonna notice these little double ups. So for example, if I bring up my report, okay, here, in the actual report itself, I've got Bob, and it's doing the kilometers correctly because I've used an implicit measure there, okay? That's adding up. If I don't put the name in, so I've got date, time, and type, that adds up. But look, Bob and Laura, okay, both did a 5K run at 4 p.m. on the 22nd. So if you don't include the name, then this works because it's in the report, but the export, let me go and just exclude the name. Um, so back into here, back into the exercises, click on this. Okay, actually I just want, let's go date, time, kilometers. Okay, and type. So see, 22nd of June, 4 p.m., 5, but there were actually two sessions. One was Bob, one was Laura. So it groups them together. So you cannot use implicit measures and expect them to add up. And I think that's gonna catch out a lot of people. Lots of potential with this. You can customize it a little bit once you've, once you've built your report. You haven't got a lot of options yet, but they're gonna improve this. You can go to formatting and just pick a, a style you can't sort the columns or anything, but if you do export it, let me just export this. And it's really, you know, really promising you this. You can export as Excel, 
It'll actually keep the formatting as well, which is a, a really nice touch. So if I open this up, seems to be a bit of an issue with time. Okay, time is coming through as um, a very small decimal, but dates formatted, this is working. Okay, just the small fact that it doesn't actually add up to 30 kilometers. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is a, a risk? Um, am I making a mountain out of a molehill? What's your thoughts? This is a useful feature, I think, but it needs to be come with a little bit of a warning. So please subscribe, let people know about this channel, and I will catch you later.